another tutorial. Today we're going to take you through credit notes in Xero. To get started, just as an introduction, my name's Sam and I'm the owner here at Tall Books. Let's start with what a credit note is. So a credit note is generally provided by a supplier when something's gone wrong, we have to return an item, something shows up spoiled or broken or not as it was described and we need to return it. We'll then get a credit note sent to us as a document um, generally via email, which you can then use to create a credit note in Xero. That credit note is then applied to a bill in most cases to reduce the total, or it can be provided as a cash refund. So let's get started with how we create these credit notes in Xero. So navigate to the accounts tab up the top and then choose purchases. In the purchases section, you can see the new button to create a bill. If you drop down the arrow on the right hand side, you get a few different options. We're going to choose credit note. Once the credit note is populated, it'll look quite familiar. You've got options to fill in the supplier's details, the reference number, so you'll normally get a credit note number or code to type in here, how much is being refunded against a bill or as a cash refund, and then all the details you can add. So for example, I can add items if a specific item is being returned, um, or I can just leave a description of what is um, on the credit note itself. So for this example, I've written down some things on a notepad from a supplier in the demo file. As the demo company works with limousines and hire cars, this is going to be a travel credit note. So the supplier's name is Capital Cabco, it's important to choose the same supplier that the bill was issued from so that you can apply the credit note against that supplier's open bill. We're then going to choose a date. So the bill was issued on the 2nd of May and we're going to say on the same day the issue occurred and we get a refund. So in the reference number, this is the, in, um, the bill number I received from Capital Cabco. I might have credit note and then that as a reference. For the total, the bill itself was 242. So we're gonna say that $142 is being refunded because of a poor experience during the trip. For travel experience, let's say driver was drunk and rude. So obviously not acceptable and we want a refund and they've offered to meet us halfway. So we're going to get $142 off our trip and we'll apply it to the same account the original expense went to. So what you can see here is I've populated a credit note based on the document I would have been emailed or delivered in person and I'm then ready to approve that credit note. So once the credit note is approved, it will show up under your purchases awaiting payment section. What you can see here is I've immediately been provided with an option to apply it to a bill that is open from the same supplier. So in this case, Capital Cabco. Let's say you had some fruit that needed to be returned and the fruit company already had a bill in the system. If you create a credit note, it will smartly guess you want to apply it to one of the open bills. So in this case, we are going to apply it to this bill but I want to show you how to do that manually in case this doesn't pop up. So if we go to accounts and purchases, you will then be able to go to the awaiting payment section. So this is where you look at open bills. It will also show you credit notes. Unlike the bill, which displays with just the normal blue hyperlink, you'll have this yellow CR for the Capital Cabco credit note you've created. I can then click into that credit note to view it like I would with any other document in Xero. You can see here it's awaiting payment. I haven't applied it to anything. So if I go up to the top right and click on credit note options, I can allocate that credit. So I'm gonna click on that and I will now be presented with that same screen you saw before. So in this case, I'm going to allocate it the total amount against the bill. And that will then mean that this bill is reduced by $142. So let's allocate that credit. 
Now the credit has been allocated. You can see here the credit note has a history hyperlink at the bottom. It has been credited to this bill. If I click into that bill hyperlink, you'll see now the amount is only $100 owing. I have reduced the total with the credit note and what's left over is what we've agreed to pay. So that's how you apply a credit note. I'll show you another way that you can deal with a credit note. And that is, let's remove this application, a cash refund. So if you go credit note options again, allocate credit. If we were just simply being refunded in cash, example might be you've already paid for the expense. So now it needs to be refunded to your account. You can say maybe the day after our main business bank account received $142 back. So then what that means is instead of reducing a bill, we've received a uh, cash back either in person via cash or most likely into your bank account. And this will match that transaction on your bank feed. And you go ahead and click allocate credit. And there you have it. That's how you allocate credit notes and how you can process them as a cash refund. If you've got any other questions, feel free to post them in the comments below or shoot me through an email.